Today we will explore some beginner-friendly software to kickstart your 2D animation journey. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Cartoon Animator is the sort of app that reminds you of those commercial HR animation video apps that anyone can use, but with a lot more flexibility and options. The app offers you a wide range of pre-made, customizable, and rigged assets that don't need much to get animated. These range from figures, eyes, noses, and even mouths. In addition to these assets, there are pre-made actions or animations that you can drag and drop on these ready-made assets to animate them. These animations are also customizable within themselves with a rigging system that is made simple and accessible. The app also gives you the ability to animate facial expressions with pre-made expressions. And of course, the same applies to backgrounds and foreground elements which are ready-made and have their own pre-made animations. A nifty little feature is how there are 3D options that give your 2D animation a three-dimensional feel to them as well. While Cartoon Animator takes simplicity to an extreme, Moho brings us back to a more complex approach to animation with a lot more freedom. For instance, it's not possible to draw directly in Cartoon Animator, but in Moho, you can do that. You can draw using vectors, which are easily scalable without losing quality, and to which you can add effects and brushes to make them more interesting. In addition, Moho has an extremely powerful rigging and bone system, as well as the ability to make frame-by-frame frame animations. This is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the animation tools that Moho has. This is superb as you will most likely find everything you need in one app, but that comes with the downside of the app coming with a steep learning curve. Uh, luckily, Moho has an official free course that walks you through everything in the app. The users have also expressed their satisfaction with the app and, get this, how intuitive it has become. While yes, Moho is more complex than the average animation app targeting a beginner, it's worth noting that it offers a wide variety of tools while being one of the most intuitive and easy to use apps in the market. Adobe Character Animator is an app that can match any skill level with its feature versatility. You can only animate one character at a time and the tools are so basic it almost feels like a game. The other two versions are both downloadable software and operate mostly the same except one is geared towards beginners and the other is a bit more advanced. The advanced versions build up more on this, it allows you to create your own characters and use the full performance capture system. In addition, it has a more elaborate timeline system that you can use. A character animator could be a great tool to help you dip your toes in animation and slowly build more skill to handle more complex animation processes. The first beginner-friendly thing about Krita is that it's free. <laughs> no one wants to spend so much money on something they've just started out and are not sure they want to be committed to. Another thing to take note of is that Krita might be daunting to a beginner because it's originally a, for the most part, 2D illustration software and a lot of its tools are made for that. And if you are not familiar with those tools, there might be a slightly steeper learning curve for you. In addition, uh, Krita's focus in animation is frame by frame animation, so keep this in mind before diving in. Krita could be the perfect introduction to 2D frame by frame animation for illustrators who have used this software to make their well, illustration for some time now, and are used to it. Uh, this should make the only learning curve the timeline addition. Photoshop and Krita are on the same level when it comes to animation. They both offer a simplistic timeline for a quick 2D frame by frame animation. They do not have any advanced 2D animation features, which makes them perfect for a beginner, just dipping their toes in. The one main difference is that Photoshop is a <laughs> paid service and it might be perfect for someone already using the tool for their other projects, but want to experiment a bit more with animation. If you fit in that category, definitely check out Photoshop's timeline feature. Pencil 2D is a free and open source 2D animation software. What stands out most about the software is how clean, minimalistic, and simple its user interface is. If you have never touched the software intended for creativity in your life before, you might have better chances of feeling comfortable using this software. Rather than something like Krita, which is way more advanced and complex, Pencil 2D is the type of software that you can start your animation journey with. It can help you explore the principles of animation while not 
not being too overwhelmed by learning the ropes of a digital software. The software being free is definitely a huge plus as well, as you don't have to be spending so much money on something that you are <laughs> just starting out in. A flip a clip is by far one of the most simple and easy to use apps on this list. One main difference is that flip a clip is an app and not a software that you can download. It's only available on iOS, Android, Chrome, Amazon App Store and the App Gallery. You get the picture, you need a phone-esque, iPad-esque device to use it. Another major difference that puts it apart from other previously mentioned software is that it takes simplicity to a whole new level, replacing the timeline with just the frames and the tools with just a pen, eraser, selection, bucket, and text, alongside other miscellaneous tools for music, adding images and videos, onion skin, and so on and so forth. All in all, it has all you need, but made 10 times more simple. Uh, this is in part due to it being an app, so the screens that Flip a Clip is going to be used in are a lot more likely to be smaller than a computer monitor. So the interface needs to be as compact as it can be, but this also benefits in making the app beginner friendly. Tube is not only an adorable name, but it is both an app and a downloadable software on your computer. Tube Tube is free with their target audience being beginners or just about anyone who is exploring animation. 2P Tube is on the same wavelength as something like Pencil 2D. It is simple in its presentation and focused on 2D animation. While the app is geared towards beginners, it does not lack in the tools and features department. One thing that stands out about the software is how the timeline is placed on the right side of the screen, unlike the usual bottom placement, similar to Studio Ghibli's OpenTunes own timeline. Synfig Studio is yet another free and open source 2D animation software on our table today. While keeping a neat and minimalistic user interface, the software remains quite feature rich with features such as keyframing, bones, interpolation, and so much more. With this software, you can explore both frame by frame animation, although it's not the software's main focus, as well as puppet animation systems and logic, which makes Synfig a solid tool to explore the depths of animation all in one one software. And V2D is yet another, you guessed it, free 2D animation software. It's almost as if we have a theme here. The presentation of the software is similar to the previously explored software. It has a simple and easy enough interface for beginners with the timeline placed on the bottom. Some of the tools include Node Tool, Bezier Tool, Brush, Circle, and Rectangle Shapes, and Text among many other tools. Envy is great for beginners, not only because it's free and open source, but also because it has all the basic tools any beginner would need for animation. And that was that! We hope you liked our selection! Let us know if you missed any of your personal favorites! And with that being said, I will see you next time! Bye!